Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, April 10th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. To quote the great American rapper Jay-Z, allow me to reintroduce myself. That little gem from the Black Album should be the theme song for veteran figure standout Megan Olsen now that she's officially announced her comeback after two years away from the pro stage. Olsen said it's time to put the hustle sauce on. Now I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I've heard rumors that she might actually be coming back as a bikini competitor, which gives the whole thing a unique twist. So whatever the case may be, she's an awesome talent. It'll be fun to have her back in the mix. There's a cool book called Steal Like an Artist that talks about how all great artists steal styles and ideas sometimes to put their own spin on things. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Bozana Vasiljevic is an artist and a thief of the highest level because she's about to steal the show. A few days ago, Bozana posted some pictures of her post-leg pump after what seemed like a monster mid-season power session. Bozana is as good as anyone in the figure division at knowing when and how to pick her spots, so she makes the biggest impact. So I'd be keeping an eye out for her to make some noise a few months from now as she decides to use a few smaller shows as an Olympia tune-up. I get emails all the time from millennial entrepreneurs in the making who love to tell me about how they're trying to make money moves. Well, here's a pro tip. Check out Alexis Rallone then try to copy everything he does. Last year's Puerto Rico Pro Champ seems like he's been making some behind the scenes money moves of his own based on some of the stuff I've been hearing lately. Even though he's always been a top tier talent guy, last season Rolone definitely stepped it up another level with the detail and quality that he developed as the year went on. So if he picks up where he left off last year, he could be a name that ends up dominating the summer contests. If Alexis Rulone was the 2018 Puerto Rico Pro Champ, as of right now, the smart money might be on a fully loaded John De La Rosa to be the 2019 frontrunner. A few days ago, word broke from John's camp that he was confirming his entry into this year's contest, which feels like it could be the perfect follow-up to his season debut at the New York Pro next weekend. With all intent and purposes, these next few weeks will go a long way towards determining what the tone of John's 2019 season will look like. So if he comes out of the blocks hard and heavy, another trip to the Olympia this fall seems like it could be a real possibility. Remember when you were kids and you used to say, first is the worst, second is the best? Well, the guys in the classic physique division better hope that saying isn't true for Alex Cabernero or else everyone at the New York Pro is in big trouble. After dominating the Pittsburgh Pro in the Classic Physique Division last weekend, Fellow didn't waste any time getting right back on the horse to tighten things up a few notches before he hits the road again for stop number two on his 2019 tour. Fellow has the old school Tony Freeman X frame that screams Classic Physique. So if he comes in better than he was in Pittsburgh, he should be the favorite to take home the win next weekend. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.